when I give master classes, I'm there to learn from them in, in the same way that I hope they can learn something from me. And, you know, with percussion, we're still very much progressing with the whole physicality of playing percussion. We don't yet have the Stradivarius marimba or the Steinway vibraphone. You know, we're still all learning and progressing together. So it's very important for me to tap in to what the, the next generation are doing and thinking and feeling and so on. Really? Yeah, well done you. I, I, you know, if I had half the clarity that you've given in those clicky bits, you know, I'd love just to steal one of your arms just for that. That's what's so fascinating when you give a masterclass, because you have to pay attention to everything, everything, how they move, how they are, how they pick their mallets up, how they project the sound, what their face is doing, how they treat the audience, everything. Mm -hmm. That's all a part of listening. You know, maybe in one section, you might just clunk this lot and then the next time we just sort of whoop a bit more and, and clunk the whole lot. The job of a performer is to really paint a sound picture. That's basically it. So regardless of whether you're a, a French horn player, a, an oboist, a, a pianist, a vocalist, a percussionist, you know, those are just our tools, basically. But we then have to paint an emotional picture. And that's basically what we do. So in a way, we are sound creators. Our job is to deal with sound. We're kind of the chefs of sound. And, uh, and we paint the sound picture in the environment that we're, we're in. When I decided to become a solo percussionist, which was really around about the age of 15, I went to a, a secondary school um, that was in a way a normal comprehensive school, you know, it had about 13, 14, 1500 pupils in there. But the only difference with this school was that it was an inclusive school. So it wasn't unusual for me to be in a maths class and sitting next to someone in a wheelchair or go to the geography class and suddenly there was a sight impaired person or a hearing impaired person or something. Those people, including myself, the hearing impaired people, belonged to the music department. A sight impaired person belonged to the art department. You know, someone in a wheelchair belonged to the sporting department. So there were absolutely no barriers at all. It was a completely open place. Psychologically, that does a lot to you. It really does. So people are people, you know, regardless of their situation. we can all hear sound and it's just whether we decide to or not. So most people feel that the only way to hear sound is through the ear and sometimes that can create overload and it can begin to feel as though, um, well, that sound is not a nice sound or it's too loud or, you know, it's an aggressive sound or something. But when you distribute the sound throughout your whole body, almost like a resonating chamber in a way, um, then you know, it's literally that. You're distributing it all throughout a bigger mass. And so therefore you can cope with far larger dynamics and different attacks and different frequencies in a much better way. And that's basically what happens when you're performing. You're imagining the sound, you're trying to project that sound. You see the mallets or the sticks as an extension to your body, um, just like a limb in a way. And you then give that sound to the audience. Mm. 
no matter who you are or what your experience, when you give these masterclasses, we all have to go through our own personal journey. You know, we're all um, discovering pieces of music that, in a way, the chemistry of those pieces and the individual come together and you can sometimes really see the personalities of the people and the pieces that they've chosen. You just kept this again very kind of menacing present sort of tempo. My parting words to certainly the, the young group I had today um, was listen to yourself and listen to others because then you will give an absolutely honest performance. It's so, so lovely to, to hear you play and to hear your thoughts. It's great. Oh, no problem. So, thanks Thank for being you. here. You're welcome.